on this week's two minute tip, biofumigation. Biofumigation is a sustainable practice that we can use to eliminate some of these soil borne pests and diseases that can plague our vegetable plants. Crops like mustard, when broken down into the soil, will release certain chemical compounds that help to eliminate or reduce the presence of these harmful soil pests. So a few weeks ago, I pulled up some okra plants in this spot behind me here. And when I did, I noticed some galls or some nodules on those roots. And I thought, uh-oh, we've got some root knot nematode problems here that we need to fix. Root knot nematodes are microscopic parasitic roundworms that feed on the roots of your vegetable plants. Now certain crops are more vulnerable than others, with okra being pretty high on that list. Root knot nematodes are typically more of a problem in sandy, well-drained soils where they have a lot of mobility, they can move around in the dirt really easily. You don't really see them a lot in heavy clay soils. So to remedy the problem, I marked me off about a 10 foot wide path here behind me around where those okra plants were and I planted me a dense patch of this Florida broadleaf mustard. So I took a number one seed plate, drilled eight more holes in it to give me a total of 16 holes for close to around one inch in row spacing then I took my garden cedar and planted the rows about three to four inches apart. I packed them in there real tight because I want to get as much vegetation as I can out of this little 10 foot wide path. Now for this strategy to be effective, those mustard leaves have to be chopped and tilled and incorporated into the soil. That's what releases those chemicals that are going to kill all those harmful pests and diseases. So once those leaves get decent sized, but before the plants go to seed, we'll come in here with our tiller to get that incorporation. So if you notice any of these root knots or root galls on your plants as you're pulling them up out of your garden, be proactive and plant you a cover crop of mustard to kill those pests and solve that issue. I hope you enjoyed this week's two minute tip. We'll see you next week.